Hi everyone! Today we will talk about Photoshop action and learn how to use this feature for textile design. So let's open any file and find the action menu. Window Action. Open default set. Here we have action we can apply for our file to achieve the desirable effect in faster way. For example, wooden frame. Click play button. Look, isn't cool? If you open history palette, we can see how many steps we skip to frame our print in nice, almost realistic wood. You can go through each action one by one, but which one of them do you really need for your work? There is a lot of action you can buy online, but I really don't want you to waste your money, so I'll teach you how to create actions by yourself. Go reward. So, we have our print in TIFF format. Pretend your agent asks you to send this file via email as a JPEG format and preferable in low resolution. We're going to Image, Image Size, choose 72, B cubic for smooth gradient, and File, Save as, JPEG format. But don't rush. Let's save all of this manipulation as action. Go back. In Action Palette, close everything, go to upper corner, get drop-down menu and select New Set. I'll call it Mouse Weaver Set. Then click again, choose New Action and name it. Uh, I'll call it Saving in JPEG. Click Record. Be very careful. Since you click Record, you will record everything what is going on on your screen. How do we know that record is on? See, this round button becomes red. So again, we're going to Image, Image Size, choose 72, B cubic for smooth gradient. And File, Save as, JPEG format. Choose Maximum for better quality. OK. Now we are finishing recording. Click Stop button. The question, why did we record all this? The answer, the main benefit of Photoshop action, we can apply it for all other files we want. Imagine your agent wants you to send five, six, seven files. Click on the first file, go to Action and click Play button. Look, in almost one second, the system repeats all previous manipulation and saved file in our desirable format. Let's check, just in case. It's JPEG, image size, 72 dpi. And it's saved in our folder next to original one. Now, do the same with this one, this one, this one. Check our folder. The new JPEG, new JPEG, new JPEG. Now, I think when I start to send my files as an attachment, it would be easy if all files are saved in one folder. Moreover, I can use them next time to send to another person or company. So it makes sense to save all of them in one folder. Of course, we can move our JPEG files one by one. But can we use our new feature to make our life easier? Yes, we can. Open all our files. Go to our action palette and open each step by clicking the arrow. As we see, we assign our files to be saved in action folder. But remember, we've decided to save it in here, uh, in a print to send out folder. Let's change the location right here in the palette. Double click on the location description. Find our desired location, save. This JPEG is already there because we moved it in, so we can replace it. While we are doing this, we can see our recording button becomes red, so we assume our action is recording our new location. Now I think all my files I want to save as JPEG to send out will be saved in new location. To be sure, let's delete all files from there and apply our corrected action to all files again. Ready? Let's start. 
first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. Let's check the folder. All files are here. Now we can go to email, select all files or entire folder and send them in one click. In the same way, we can print files. Close all and open our TIFF files. Pretend you were working on them during the day and now you got a call from your manager who wants to see them as soon as possible. For this purpose, have print action saved in your set. Close our JPEG action, go to Mouse Weaver set, choose New Action, call it Printing. Start to record. Go to File, Print. Here you can choose your setting which depends on your printer, paper and quality requirement. Very important, choose paper size. I have 8.5 by 11, so all my prints will be printed on that paper. So if print is bigger, it will be printed partially. In this case, I'll choose Print Selected Area. Click Print. Now I think we can click Stop button. It's not necessary to save print anywhere. It's saved already. We need to print them only. So printing action is already saved in your palette. By the way, if you restart your computer, all your action stays in the palette. You don't need to recreate them unless you reinstall your Photoshop, but we will deal with this later. So now choose the next file and click play button. It will be printed instantly without opening print dialog window. In the same way you can print next print and next print and next. Maybe do you want to close each print after printing to make your screen less busy and avoid printing twice? Click on Printing Action in the last step. Click on Record button. Click Close. Click Stop button. Now you can choose any file and click Play button. As you can see, file is printing and closing by itself. What else? Pretend somebody asks you to send your work samples for business opportunity, but you are not 100% sure about this company reputation. In other words, you'd like to protect your artwork from copying and using without your permission. There are many protection options, like watermarks, Uh, or sending print partially, 8 by 10, it's enough to evaluate the level of it. Or creating your personal stamp, it's actually a very good idea. Placing your logo, name of the company, some nice background, merge layers. I think pretty much nice and professional. Copy it. Open new file. I'm going to create action based on new file and I want to place stamp on each next print as an action step. Go to action, create new action, sending with stamp. Be sure record has started, button is red. As we decided, we need only part of this print. So go to canvas, type 8 by 10, choose center, we can choose any position. If you think your print looks better from the upper left corner, choose it. OK. Now, we've copied stamp already from previous file. It's still in the system clipboard. So if we're doing edit paste, control V, we will paste our stamp to new print. But do we like that location? Not really. We want it to be in a corner. But instead of moving this every time, we can choose another method. Stop recording. Delete, paste and move. Start recording again. Instead of paste, go to Edit, Paste Special, Paste in Place. See, we have our stamp in our desirable place. 
lower right corner, flatten image. Now what else? Maybe change the resolution to send it easier via email. Image, image size, let's put 120 dpi. I think it's enough for protection. Again, let's save all files in one folder. We can create new folder for new stamped prints. But I'm going to save over as a JPEG in the same folder. Let's see what happens. It asks if I want to replace it. Yes, I do. If I look in the folder, I see all old files and one new file. Stop recording. Now, open all files we are going to send out in new format. For each file, click play. And we got all files with all changes and stamps in a corner ready in one click. If we go into our send folder, we see all new prints which are replacing our previous prints. They are replaced automatically because we were agreed to replace first existing file during action creation. So be very careful. If you want to keep any of your previous files, save them somewhere else, otherwise you will lose them instantly. Now, can we add any steps to our actions? Yes, we can. Go to any file, go to action. Let's rotate every print before saving. When? Let's do after placing stamp and flatten image. Turn on record button. Image rotation 90 degree clockwise. Then stop. Open original TIFF file. Click play. New JPEG appears rotated. Is it really saved over? Yes, it is. Now we have new changes in action. Close all, open new original files. Will they rotate as well if we apply actions? Yes. What if I don't want it anymore? Is it necessary to delete rotation step? Not really. We can just close it here. Look, prints are vertical again. And we can use this action with closing some steps in many different ways. What if we want to send print without the stamp? Close the paste step. And this without changing canvas but with step. And this bear without changing the resolution but with stamp and rotation. And this one apply everything but close save item. What do we have here? We still have TIFF file because action stops before saving. Does it still exist as an original TIFF? Yes, it does. The new version is only in our screen. And if we don't save it, it will disappear when we close the program. So now we know how to use Photoshop action for textile design. Next time we will learn how to apply this feature for multiply files instantly. It will be possible when we use batch feature. Please subscribe to my channel, like it if you still didn't, and please don't forget to check your bell. See you soon.